Hey everybody, so in this video I'll show you how to print substrings, all the substrings of a given string and I'll discuss the logic and I'll also help you write the function and you can implement this in any language, be it Java or C++. Uh, the main thing is the function, how you write the function and how you come up with the logic. Alright, so we have a string here A, B, C, D, E, F. Alright, so what is a substring then? Alright, substring can be anything, substring can be A, okay, this is a substring of length of, uh, A is a substring of length 1. B is a substring of length 1 and then we can have D E F it's a substring of length 3 and C D E or we can have B C okay so all of these are substrings okay of different lengths length 1 length 3 okay length 2 okay so what we want from our function is to print all the substrings of this string A B C D E F okay so what are the variables Okay, if we are writing a function, what are the variables uh, we have to manipulate uh, when we are trying to write the function to print all the substrings of the string? One is length of a substring. Okay, length of substring. And of course we need, and of course we'll traverse through this string, okay? Because we need to print substrings. So it can start from, so let's say index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So it can start from 2 and end at 4. It can start from 1. It can end at 5, okay? It can start from uh, 3. It can end at 5, okay? So we'll also have to traverse through this array. So, uh, so when we're printing a substring, of course it will have a starting point and an ending point, okay? So we have three variables here length of the substring starting point and ending point okay so starting point will be let's say 2 and ending point will be 4 so c d e is one substring of length 3 okay so length of substring starting point ending point uh, these are the three so these are the three variables which will change throughout the function so how will approach this program what does the output look like okay uh, will it be and and how will we know that it's a correct output okay we can traverse through every starting point possible and then we can just match it with every ending point possible and then we can print the strings but that will be very cumbersome so i think the best thing is to first print all the substrings of length one a b c d e f all the substrings of length one and then once we are done with length one then all the substrings of length two a b b c then d e and then e f okay and then uh, let's say c d and then um, and then length length three okay a b c c d e b c d okay so we can print so we can print all the substrings of length one then length two and length three and so on okay so i think if you pay attention we can have a loop for length itself right so i can write a loop so i can write my first loop because that's what we'll do we'll print all the substrings lengthwise so i think it's fair if we write the outermost if we write the outermost loop which represents length so from length equals to one to length less than equals to let's say this string let's name the string as array so array dot length length plus plus okay this will be the outermost loop because inside each length group we can we, and inside each length group we can decide which one is the uh, starting point and which one is the ending point okay but the outermost loop will remain this length loop because uh, this length is providing category for how our substrings will be printed so we are done with this length of substring okay let's move inside and tackle the starting point part all right so if a b c d e f is a substring and let's say we want to print all the substrings of length two i mean i'm starting with length one but let's say to understand the concept let's consider length equals to two okay so we want all the substrings of this particular string of length two what are the starting points possible it can be zero it can be one it can be two it can be three it can be four but it cannot be five okay because a can have a substring of length two we are talking about length equals to two here so a can have a, a two length substring as a b b c d e okay for b it can be b c for d it can be d e for c it can be c d but for f there is no two length substring okay so five cannot be an index when length is equals to two okay when length equals to one that is fine then then all of these indexes are are valid as starting points but when length is equals to two then then the starting points can only go from zero to four okay similarly when length equals to three the starting point can only go from zero one two three 
because after that zero one two three four five yeah because after because because after the index three it's only e f right there is no g okay so anything which starts from e cannot have a substring of length p okay so for each length value for each length of substring there is a valid set of values for starting point so how will implement this for start equals to zero start less than equals to array dot length minus length okay start plus plus so the set of starting points will change with each length value okay i'll repeat again if a b c d e f is the string okay for length equals to one zero is a valid index for starting point one is a valid index for starting point two is a valid index for starting point three is a valid index for starting point four is a valid index for starting point five is also a valid index for starting point but for length is equals to two zero is a valid index for starting point one is a valid index for starting point two is a valid index for starting point three is a valid index for starting point four is a valid index for starting point five is not a valid index for a starting point because there is no g after f so they cannot be fg we don't have a two length substring which starts with f okay similarly for length equals to three zero is a zero is a valid index as starting point one is a valid index as starting point two is a valid index for starting point three is a valid index for starting point four and five are not valid index Four and five are not valid indices for starting points. Why? Because we because we don't have a substring here of length three, but starts with E F. Okay, because there is no G here. Okay, so starting points each for each length value will start from zero, but will end at array dot length minus length. So here the array length is six. Okay, and and we are printing substrings for length of length three. We're going to be subtracting three. Okay, so start. So the only starting points valid for substrings of length three will be zero, one, two, three. Okay, so I'll write this properly. Array dot length minus length. Okay, so we are done with starting points here. Okay, now let's calculate the ending points. Okay, so just one more loop. So end will be equal to start plus the length right what's the current length of substring we need what's the current length of substring we are printing and there will be a minus one why because array array indices they start from zero and they so let's say the length is five so it will end at four okay so that's why there will be a minus one here okay and the third loop will be for substring index equals to start and substring index less than equals to end substring index plus plus inside this loop we'll we'll print system out print uh, array substring index okay uh, i think it will be more precise if i just uh change this length to substring length substring length equals to 1 substring length substring length um, where else substring length mm -hmm. so now if i have to implement this program it's very easy i'm i'm using online gdb dot com so we'll have a character array a b c d e f okay i think that's the same example i took and uh, and i'll write a function print substrings okay which will take input as this array and this array and its length okay so the length is six here right now let's write the function static void oh sorry print substrings so character integer array length or or i can write it as string length okay so and i'll write the outermost loop for int substring length equals to one substring length less than equals to string length okay substring length plus plus for int start equals to zero start less than equals to string length minus minus substring length all right start plus plus and then int end equals to start plus length sorry substring length minus one and for int substring index equals to start substring index less than equal to end substring index plus plus all right and system dot out dot print array and substring index okay and control c and i'll add a line break here right right after this 
this. Let's see if this works. Yeah. So A, B, C, D, E, F. All the strings of length 1. And then and then A, B, B, C, C, D, E, F. All the strings of length 2. And then A, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E, D, E, F. All the, all the substrings of length 3. And then length 4. Okay. And length 5. And then finally, one substring of the, of the length, which is the string itself. A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So I hope you understood the uh, concept and the implementation of it. Still, if you have any doubts, feel free to write it down in the comment section. And I'll do similar programs about string manipulation. For that, please follow the playlist on my channel. And yeah, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.